What's up guys? Hope you're all well. Now this is a bit of a iffy one. So we've got a cash guy in. Now the story behind this is customer bought the car. Driving down the road with his boys sat in the middle rear seat. They have to put on his brakes in an accident or an emergency. And the boy went flying. If you take a look at this, see this is the outside. You yank it, it locks on like it's supposed to. Central does not lock. Obviously I don't know the full story, but hopefully the boy's alright. But customers bought it to us to get it prepared, so let's get it sorted for him. Obviously, bonnet lights come in clutch as well, because you can put them across the door pillars to give you a lot of light in here. So as you can see, that's quite dull without it. So we need to start by removing this rear section here, the one with the double seat. So in that case, we need to, that seat belt will move out the way, but we need to go around to the back, make sure there's nothing connected to the rear. So get everything out the boot, all the boot linings at the bottom. Don't know why the engine covers in here. By that I mean this, 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 and then this rear one as well, which I believe it's just placed in there. So that is the rear of our boot. Now Pretty sure those bases are supposed to be screwed down as well for the bottom bench. But we'll have a look once we get it out. So we come along to here, fold it down. I don't think there's actually anything connected. Not by the looks of it. So we basically just need to remove this rear seat and to replace the seat belt. Got zips either side. Unzipper, unclip it from this, and then we have to remove the lining off the seat so we can change the seat belt. But we're going to get this out first. So to remove that, we've got this plastic cover, what just pulls off, and then we've got two nuts here to remove. Being a Nissan, I'm going to say they're 17s. So let's have a little gander. All right gonna do with 17 get a deep and an impact oh oh might be a 16 it is in fact a 16 so you get those undone now I believe this is going to pull forward here and then pull across. Yeah, so pull that forward and then it just pops out when you pull it that way. So we're just going to get this on the bench. But before we get that on the bench, we need to disconnect the bottom part of the seat belt. So either side of your seat, you should be able to pull this bottom bench up and unbolt it. So. Ours is uh, being a bit stiff at the bottom and we don't want to break it. So we've undone the two bolts for the other side. We've took that seat out, which gives us enough room to just pull this forward and undo that bolt there. So we've got it undone. Undo this seat occupancy switch and you'll be able to lift it up at the back. And there's 14 mil on there. So let's go to our seat, just turn our light off. the seat bolts down to 14 mil in there get that out get your two headrests rest off and we're basically going to be peeling this off the top around to this side so we can get it over the locking pin there just get a trim tool under here as well and pull out this top to have a plastic part so once you start folding the seat over you will come across something like this these dog rings Got to cut those off the rail, and that's what holds the seat cover to the rail. And you can either use those new ones to 
put it together or a few people just use cable ties down there. Now to get the rest of this off we need to remove the rear armrest. If we're looking at the seat on the right hand side you've got lobe. But on the left hand side you've got steering wheel. So the bit in the middle, pull that out and then it will slide off. And then you can just pop that side out and lift it across. So we're just going to get that armrest out. So now that our armrest is out, we can fold this up. And where your headrests go in the top, we've got to remove the pegs. So if you squeeze these tabs in, squeeze them in and just start pushing them, it will pop in. Obviously there is our seat belt, but we need to get to it properly. Now we've pushed those tabs, we should be able to pull these out. Just pop them in order. What way they want. And what we've got to do now is just remove this plastic bit where we recline the seats. So instead of removing the plastic, you can just pull the carpet foam up around it. So now we're going to pop that to one side and then we're going to do our seat belt. So to remove it, undo the 17mm nut on there. And then this lifts up out. Then we can drop it down through. With a little wiggle we can take it through. So that's it, we've got our clip back in, got our new seat belt in and tightened down. The next bit is to get the phone and the carpet back on, get your pegs in and then your armrest etc and then don't forget to put some cable ties or dog rings around the bottom of the seat cover just to secure it down. So we went, away, went ahead with the job, got it all back in, got our clips nicely in at the top, along with the bracket we need to put in now and the headrests, got our trim all fitted nicely back into the grooves and our armrest back on. So we're just going to get the headrest and all on and then we're going to fit it back to the car. Now just remember before we put the double seat in we have to put the single side in. So I'm going to put that one in first. Get the seatbelt bolted down. And I also plug, not also plug, the rear, rear occupancy sensor plugged in. Then we can go ahead and get our next one in. So on most cars, these tabs will go to the rear member and bolt in. But doesn't look like it does on this one. I'm gonna have to look into that because to me that's not normal. So that's it, we've got our whole back seats back in, new seat belts in. And as you can see that locks nice and slow. All locking nicely. Just gonna put the boot back together and that job will be done. Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next one.